have to be very aware of the conversation you're having while you're doing it. Because your mind chooses the path of least resistance. Your mind has the ultimate tactical advantage over you. It knows what scars you. It, it, it knows your fears. It knows your insecurities. And it protects you, which is where I talk about the 40% rule in my book. The 40% rule is all about the brain has the tactical advantage over you. It knows and it, it keeps you away from all that. That's why it says don't jump out of the airplane. Don't go in the ocean where there's sharks. It's a protective mechanism. Don't go back to the place where your dad beat the shit out of you in your mind. Don't go back. The brain protects you, but protects you so much it doesn't allow it to go. So the brain is an amazing thing, but the brain controls you. You must control it. You must take power over your own mind or your mind will guide you into all the soft places that your brain wants to live in. Your brain has enough information. It doesn't want to go through that process of, of mind hardening. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to, you may have a best friend you're going to, but there's 24 hours in the day when you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. Sometimes life can really hijack your fucking mind. When that happens to you, you're all fucked up. Your goals, your ambitions, everything is out the fucking window. In life, we all go through different things. Sometimes your girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up with you. Guess what? Get the fuck over it. They no longer want you. Maybe you fell a test in school. You worked your ass off. Guess what? You failed the fucking test. Get over it. Move past it. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. At work, you've been working your ass off for that new promotion. You don't fucking get it. Someone else does. Maybe they kiss better ass than you do. Guess what? Get over it. Life will hijack your mind if you let it. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Get after it, stay hard. Everybody's got a fucking plan so they can hit in the fucking mouth. That's for Mike Tyson. So when your plan fails, when those bullshit of fucking laws get too heavy, when you get knocked the fuck down on the fucking canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is fucked up, what the fuck are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay fucking hard. But a lot of us have scars in our brains about fucked up lives, bad childhoods, bad adulthood, whatever the fuck you're going through. Those scars in your brain, we don't talk about, we hide. Scarring is proof that our past is real. But the one thing we do is we allow it to control our lives. And we get off the log. Well, it's time to get back on the log and not have those scars define the rest of your fucking life. Sometimes you gotta fight pain with pain. You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life, no matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life, prepare for fucking battle.